Okay guys, uh, I'll just show you my uh, World War II um, uh, one six action figure collection. Uh, mostly it's um, dragons figures or dragon and dreams figures. So um, this is just their um, music corpse range uh, for the um, like, uh, Nuremberg rallies. You got some of the um, uh, figures in uh, SS uniforms. Nice. Um, you'll notice the uh, the backdrop behind them. Uh, you actually um, get that with the box. It um, doubles as the um, outer box cover, um, but you can also use it as a backdrop, which is what I've done. So yeah, really, really nice figures. Really great attention to detail in the uh, clothing and the accessories, as you'd expect from a dragon. Uh, the Himmler figure from 3R released um, four or five years ago now very very um, rare that guy um, very hard to come by now uh, one of my um, recent additions is um, Hydric as you can see now uh, 3R actually released um, Hydric uh, one of their early figures three or four years ago with the black uniform um, but this is an updated version, an updated head sculpt. And another um, ceremonial 3R uh, uh, figure. Uh, I think that's um, called the Blood Banner figure. You can see really nicely uh, detailed. Uh, another older figure from um, are, uh, uh, Goering, um, Rex Marshall of the um, Luftwaffe, with his um, Field Marshal's baton, collection of medals, a couple of iron crosses um, thrown in there, um, Adolf Hitler. As you can see, the uh, background is. Um, Reminiscent of, uh, I think it's a picture, an actual picture of uh, the um, the uh, rally grounds at Nuremberg during one of the Nazi rallies in the 1930s. Just behind his um, podium there, which you get with the figure, really nice. Again, another really hard figure to come by. Um, a really well done figure. And another music corpse guy. Not sure what this um, particular instrument is. It's got bells on it and stuff like that. And obviously, with the um, ceremonial, um, uh, the SS flag with the uh, the death's head, the totem cop there, the eagle, which is very representative of um, uh, Nazi um, architecture of the time. Yeah. So yeah, really impressive piece that. As you can see um, all these different little bells. Uh, so it must have been a musical instrument of some sort. Um, but yeah, really nice. Um, that's Goebbels, the uh, propaganda minister of the Reich. Nice figure. And um, I think they were well um, proportioned as well, these figures. Um, Goebbels, I think, was quite short. I think this figure is. Um, uh, shorter than the um, other figures on show, um, whereas uh, Heydrich was uh, quite a big guy and um, quite tall, and uh, it's uh, represented here. He is um, a little bit taller than the uh, rest of the figures, which is um, probably about right. As I say, just the uh, generic um, SS um, music corps figures. So yeah, I'll show you just some um, regular German. Okay, guys, uh, so just moving on to uh, some uh, German um, army figures uh, from um, from Dragons. This is one of their recent figures of a um, German, uh, um, supposedly on the um, Eastern Front. I think um, uh, from Stalingrad. You get the heavy jacket and um, the um, balaclava that you can wrap around his neck or fully around his head. If you so wish, uh, machine pistol, German grenade. Yeah, 
so um, a map pouch and that's how you get um, various accessories of course with these figures and um, the uh, backdrop that he's um, standing in front of is um, actual, um, an actual real picture again and uh, it's actually um, a, a statue um, left pretty much intact after uh, uh, much of uh, Stalingrad uh, was um, uh, flattened, you know, rise to the ground uh, during the Battle of um, Stalingrad, which is um, kind of like um, uh, many historians feel the turning point of um, World War Two. Um, obviously, where the um, uh, the German Sixth Army and um, elements of the uh, Fourth Panzer Army was um, surrounded and um, eventually uh, destroyed, um, either captured um, or killed. Um, so yeah, I think that's an actual, um, that, that's the actual um, statue that was left pretty much intact. Uh, kind of like an eerie kind of like statue, really. Uh, thinking about it, all the um, death and destruction that went on in that city. And um, yeah, it shows, uh, it depicts some um, children um, kind of like dancing um, around a, um, a crocodile or an alligator. Um, in, in, in a ring, so like a, a ring, a ring of roses sort of set up. So yeah, it's kind of like um, eerie that um, picture, um, considering um, what what went on in that city uh, uh, during the war and all that. Um, was later uh, given the name, um, bestowed uh, the hero city Stalingrad for its resistance during the war. Uh, this is a, it's not called Stalingrad either anymore. It's um, it was renamed after um, uh, the de-Stalinification um, process by um, Khrushchev, I think, um, in the 1950s. It's now known as Volgograd, that city. Uh, so yeah, this is another um, uh, Dragons and Dreams figure, a recent one, a, a medic figure. I think I thought he'd look pretty good amongst um, like all the uh, regular army guys. If I had a medic guy, and you know, he's just holding some bandages and. Uh, He's got his medical bag there and um, a bread bag and water canteen and whatnot. So yeah, it's a nice little figure to mix up the helmet with the uh, red cross on it. Uh, there's uh, Erwin uh, Koenig, um, that's played by um, Ed Harris from the movie uh, Enemy, um, Enemy at the Gates. Um, so that ties in with uh, Stalingrad and whatnot. So yeah, he's a nice little um, figure, the, um, the uh, sniper rifle that he sports there. That were really well made. That's what I really like about Dragon's figures, their attention to detail on the weapons. This is all wood and metal on the uh, German rifle there. Um, uh, this is um, a guy who like, lays um, uh, phone lines and all that, so like an engineer in the German army and it's um, based on the, um, the Joseph Fiennes who was in Enemy of the Gates as well just in the uh, German uniform there. Uh, a Dragons in Dreams sign there, which is sort of like, uh, look quite nice um, put in there. And um, another German uh, German uh, figure um, from Dragons in Dreams uh, representing um, uh, the um, SS, um, uh, SS um, Wehrmacht uh, uh, division. Um, that fought on the uh, Eastern Front. Um, you can tell by the um, little um, uh, collar lapels, the um, SS and the insignia. Uh, there's just a little um, sign post thing that I just made up and uh, just got out um, various little sign posts for that. Look pretty neat. Uh, yeah, just to um, stick in there. So that's, that's all cool. Okay, so uh, just moving along, uh, got some. Um, uh, higher ranking uh, German officers during the war. Uh, this is uh, Friar's uh, Sepp Dietrich, um, who was an SS general uh, in charge of um, a Panzer division um, during the uh, Second World War, um, notably, I think, in the Battle of the Bulge, um, he was involved in. And uh, yeah, quite a high ranking um, a Nazi uh, general during the war. Uh, there's a Hot Toys figure. Of um, Hans Lander uh, from Inglorious Bastards and all that. So yeah, that's a really nice figure and kind of like goes um, well with the um, with the collection. 
Uh, there's the Freer um, Wilhelm Castle. Uh, uh, again, another uh, field marshal. A German field marshal during the Second World War. I kind of like, I'm turned into uh, Hitler's kind of like yes man. And uh, just went along with uh, whatever Hitler said. Um, hence, he was given the nickname um, uh, Lackeitel, like a lackey, sort of like. So, as um, a Kurt Mayer with the um, crush cap style um, SS um, hat, and just with the uh, shouting uh, head sculpt, which I think is pretty nice. Yeah, a nice figure from uh, 3R. And uh, this is a German um, soldier from the um, Africa Corps. Just got the um, cuff insignia there. And just with a little cine camera, I just thought it looked kind of um, neat, sort of like. Not to be holding any sort of weapon or anything. And uh, I think he's um, a nice goggle, he's a nice touch uh, for the desert warfare. And uh, I think he's uh, loosely based on. Um, uh, don't quote me on it, but I think yeah, the um, German in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, obviously, uh, a bit of that was um, set um, in uh, Africa or the Middle East or somewhere. And uh, yeah, that's the sort of um, um, sort of like uniform that they wore in the um, in the Africa Corps. And uh, it goes pretty well. There's a the backdrop of the tank in um, sort of like desert condition. Really nice. And um, there's his uh, commander, I guess, uh, Erwin Rommel. Yeah, Desert Fox. Really nice figure, great head sculpt. So, yeah, really nice. Really nice collection of um, German generals and uh, supporting cast, I guess. Okay, and uh, I'll just get another figure. This is. Um, an SS um, Viking division soldier. Uh, this figure is from a soldier story, not Dragons and Dreams. It comes with the uh, gas mask and the stone helmet, steel helmet. Really nice. This figure. He's got his um, a German rifle carbine, and he's also you can see he's picked up um, a Russian um, PPH. Machine gun. Uh, there's just a German uh, Luftwaffe figure. Again, it's not by Dragons. I'm not sure who made that. I've had that figure for quite a long time. Um, it's been in and out of um, like display and um, being um, boxed up and all that. It's out on display at the moment though. Okay, and there's a kit bashed um, MG42. Uh, heavy machine gun guy. Just the ammo packs on the back, uh, gas mask, uh, canteen, some more uh, ammo, and a spare barrel. Was the um, MG42 was um, because of its high rate of fire, was well known um, for its um, barrels overheating. Okay, there's another uh, kit bash figure. Um, just with the um, the ammo, uh, the uh, camo. I think that's a uh, woodland camo. And um, there's a flame troop um, flamethrower, which was um, uh, used obviously uh, during the um, Second World War. Probably most uh, notably by the Americans, uh, the flame the flamethrower on. Um, the various uh, Pacific Islands to flush out the Japanese, but the uh, Germans also did use flamethrower, and uh, the English, um, the British used uh, flame tanks as well. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be bumping into him on the battlefield. Um, just ready to toast you. So there's uh, another um, German figure based on uh, it's a Dragons and Dreams figure. Uh, I think it's called Steiner, and. Uh, He's uh, loosely based on um, the uh, actor James Coburn from the 1970s uh, war movie um, uh, Cross of Iron. 
uh, directed by Sam Peckinpah and uh, yeah so um, check that out if you can the uh, film and he's just in the uh, white camouflage winter camouflage if you like again with various accessories and again he's uh, stolen a Russian um, PPH a machine gun that's really nice yeah really um, great detailing on the helmet all the weathering and all that so yeah nice. okay then um, this is a um, figure uh, from a company called Star Ace it's um, Steve McQueen as a hilt um, from um, one of the best uh, war movies of all time The Great Escape and, uh, yeah just with his um, baseball bat and his glove pictures glove yeah really nice uh, display base um, which uh, you don't get with dragon figures in the main you don't get the place bases which is um, you know one of the drawbacks of the figures um, but not everyone likes bases anyway so and there's um, Aldo Rain Brad Pitt from Inglorious Bastards I showed you the um, uh, Hans Lander figure before yeah really nice Hot Toys figure from I think about 2009 there's Max Toys uh, clothing and accessory set uh, War Daddy, um, Brad Pitt from Fury. There's the um, the uh, Sherman um, tank commander. There's Patton, uh, General Patton. It's played by uh, George C. Scott in the movie Patton. Really nice to have, um, you know, top American general figure. Uh, and there's uh, the uh, Dragons in Dreams uh, Major Richards figure uh, from uh, uh, Damien Lewis from Band of Brothers, really nice figure. And there's like the yeah, Operation Market Garden um, set up, uh, the parachutist, spare parachute, loads of accessories, really nice, just on like a generic figure and all that. There's Matt Damon. Saving Private Ryan. Again, um, a recent Dragon Dreams figure. Really nice, really well done figure. Really great. M1 Garand is really nice. The bazooka. Great detailing. Okay, I just set up another one of these um, little message board things. And the posters. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Just with um, various uh, slogans and whatnot. Uh, Dragons and Dreams, um, British Commando, uh, circa 1944. Uh, really loaded down with um, you know kit and all that. A few grenades and the um, ubiquitous um, Sten gun. Uh, used extensively by um, British commandos. Uh, from about 1942 onwards. See so yeah, Dragons and Dreams, uh, Winston Churchill, great figure, bang on head sculpt. You know, a must for um, Second World War collectors of 1 6. Um, that's not a Dragons figure, I think that was a company called BBI. BBI Elite Force, something like that. Uh, yeah, so it's just an RAF um, a guy, uh, fire pilot, I guess. And there's a dragons uh, figure, just a, not a dragons in dreams, which is they're more, um, you know, expensive uh, branch, but it's just a dragons figure. The uh, British um, British trooper with. Um, the uh, instantly recognisable Bren gun, top loading magazine, really great figure. Yeah, so there's my own Brits. So we just uh, finish off with the uh, the Russians here. Um, so I think uh, Ron Pelman is his name. Um, he played Kulikov, I think, in Enemy at the Gates. That's a recent figure by um, Dragons, really nice. Great accessories, as you'd imagine. Um, that's a, I think King Arts made that. It's Stalin. 
uh, starting who else? So there's our Jude Lord's um, character, Vasily, from Enemy at the Gates. Really nice figure. Backdrop is um, from one of the Russian figures. Uh, it's a, a tank factory, of which there were quite a few in uh, Stalingrad, especially. Um, supposedly, the, supposedly they were um, producing tanks even when um, you know the roof had come in and all that. So <laughs> there's something about their resilience, I guess. And um, I think uh, that's a Dragons in Dreams figure, a Russian. I think he's, I think he's called Runik or Rurik or something like that. And um, he's got the uh, Soviet flag there, the red banner, hammer in the sickle. So uh, yeah, really nice um, figure. A couple of um, uh, grenades and uh, the Russian style grenade and the PPH. Uh, there's a um, there's a, um, a Russian um, female uh, sniper. I think it's um, loosely based on uh, the Rachel Weiss figure from Enemy at the Gates. Um, but Russians um, did um, field um, female um, soldiers even at the front lines during the Second World War. Um, one of the few nations to actually do so. And there's just uh, another um, uh, Russian figure from uh, Dragons. So, uh, yeah, really nice. So, uh, thanks for um, watching my uh, collection, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, cool.